Hi everyone, let me give you a quick overview of the API automation capabilities of the UiPath Test Suite. To do that, let me switch to Studio Pro, our most advanced IDE for automation here at UiPath. And here in my project called the UiPath Banking App, you can see I already prepared a couple of API automations for you. Now, as some of you might already know, we support REST and SOAP already out of the box via our new service capabilities in our libraries and our web activities. But SOAP is not just SOAP and REST is not just REST. It takes a little bit more than just sending requests, for example, to these services and validating responses in a true enterprise environment. And for that simple reason, we massively improved the API automation capabilities by introducing the UiPath test suite. So how did we do that? Well, we from now on provide a very deep integration into Postman. And Postman is the best of breed, the best in class when it comes to API development and API testing. Now, before I show you how this integration looks like, let me first show you why we did it. To do that, let me go to the Postman website. And here on this website, Postman lists the rich set of functionalities they provide through their tools. So by providing that uh, integration into Postman, we no longer just support REST and SOAP. No, we also support GraphQL, pretty much the standard when it comes to modern applications. And as I've mentioned before, when you need to interact with uh, REST, SOAP or GraphQL services in a true enterprise environment, it takes a little bit more than just sending requests and validating responses. So you definitely will have the need to, for example, save preset headers, to manage cookies, or to have support for multiple authorization protocols. Or you might have the need to interact with proxy servers, or have the need to view, set, and sell SSL certificates. And it's not just about the handling of requests, it's also about the handling of responses, the management of variables. On top of that, Postman also provides very strong collaboration capabilities that allows your team to really seamlessly collaborate on API development as well as API testing. And on top of that, Postman also provides monitoring as well as mocking capabilities. So what Postman provides here is a so-called mock server. And this allows you to simulate your API points. And this is most likely of special interest for our test automation engineers. Why? Because when you want to test your service, your application, you might depend on a variety of surrounding systems or surrounding services, so to say. And most of the time, in reality, unfortunately, those services are simply not accessible because they might be under development, they might be under maintenance. They are simply not accessible. And so by having the ability to simulate those API endpoints, these services, these applications, you can still proceed with your end-to-end -end test case automation without interruption. And these are just some of many reasons why we decided to provide an integration into Postman. So now let me show you how that integration looks like. To do that, let me first go to Postman. Now here it is, that's Postman, that's the Postman client. Now, the short story of Postman goes like this. What Postman provides are so-called collections, as you can see on the left-hand side. And the collection is nothing more than just a set of one or more API calls. Now, in that case, I have an API call to create a loan quote in our demo application. And this API call is represented here on the right-hand side. So all you need to provide is the URL to your API endpoint and the parameters to perform this API call. And as you can see, you can also parameterize that call by making use of the very strong environment and variable concept here in Postman. Now, in order to create that loan quote via the API in our demo application, all you need to do is you need to click here on send. And then in terms of milliseconds, here you go. We just created a loan quote with that ID and that rate. So how does the integration now look like? Well, you can now make use of the new service capabilities in our library. And then you can connect to this workspace here in Postman. And then you can decide whether you want to fetch one or more of these collections. And then you can export that library as a NuGet package. And then you can import the NuGet package in your project. Now, let me briefly show you that by collapsing all these other applications here. 
But that is exactly what I did in my project here, the UI Path Banking app. So if I expand here the dependencies node, you see that I've just attached the NuGet package that comes from the library where I fetched all my Postman collections. Now once you did that and then you go to the activities pane, you see here a Postman client, that's just the name of the library, and then you see all the API calls I've just shown you in Postman. And this means you can then make use of those API calls in the same way you can make use of any other activities here in Studio Pro. So just drag and drop them onto your designer panel to make use of them. Now let me go back to my project so that you always see where I am. So what I want to now show you is this automated test case called Lookup Loan. So what this test case basically does, it here I set up my environment and then I'm creating a loan by making use of a collection I have defined in Postman via the API. So if you go to the properties, we see all it takes to perform this API call is we need to provide the parameters about the loan age, the loan amount, the loan email, the loan income, the loan term, and the endpoint to your service. And that's basically it. So you do not need to care about the technical specifics anymore. It's business readable. Now then in the test case, I move on and I look up the loan details on the user interface in our demo application. And then I verify the loan details, such as the loan ID and the loan rate. I've just created via the API on the user interface. So now let's see the action. All we need to do is we need to run file here. Then uh, Studio collapses, the robot starts. Then we create the loan code via the API. This usually happens in milliseconds, already done. Then we launch our web application. We click on loans and then we look up the loan with the loan ID we just created and validate the details. That's basically it. That is how fast and how easy it is to, for example, pair automation on the user interface and API automation. So if you go back to the project here in Studio and click on Output, you can also see in the Output, we see all the verifications we have performed as part of this test case. Now in this test case, I just verified the loan rate and the loan ID I created via the API. Now both verifications passed and so my test case passed. And that's the short story of API automation here in Studio Pro. <laughs>